Beijing, sports fans sometimes talk about an athlete deserving more attention, and the word always feels a bit off. These are people who are good at sports, and it's fun to watch them and talk about them. But nobody really deserves attention for that. This story is the exception. Lindsay Jacobellis deserves NBC primetime coverage, big font headlines, social media posts and to be the subject of whatever the COVID-era version of water cooler conversation is. That's the kind of treatment she got 16 years ago, when she made one of the most infamous mistakes in Olympic history. It is what she absolutely deserves today. Jacobella's has just won gold in snowboard cross, beating three other finalists, half a lifetime's worth of demons and the nagging sense that she would forever be remembered for not winning. In 2006, in Turin, she was on the verge of winning gold, when she grabbed her snowboard to celebrate before the finish, stumbled and ended up with silver. She said afterward that she was just trying to have fun and put on a show, a sentiment that offended the American sports media and made her a topic of national debate. That mistake followed her for the rest of her career. It's hard enough to win an Olympic event, any Olympic event. Try doing it when the world won't let you escape your own shadow. I definitely have put 2006, obviously, in the past, Jacko Bellis said Wednesday, and have done a lot of soul-searching to realize that that moment doesn't define me. Most Olympians live strange public lives. They compete in relative anonymity except for a two-week window every four years when America pays attention. In 2006, Jacko Bellis was branded as something worse than a loser. She was portrayed as indifferent to competition, the pretty young face of a bunch of goofy sports that didn't belong in the Olympics. We all make mistakes, hers offended some people. Then Jacobellis was sent back to live with it on her own, except for every four years, when she showed up at the Olympics hoping to write a new story while everybody kept reminding her of her old one.